One man is dead and another presumed drowned in a rafting accident along the Coeur d'Alene River. The Shoshone County Sheriff's Office suspended the search for the missing 45-year-old man, saying the river is too dangerous to continue. It happened yesterday about 17 miles northeast of Enaville. That's where we find KXLY 4's Sally Shoman. This is where the raft flipped yesterday morning. In fact, you can still see it stuck amid some trees over there on the shoreline. This tragedy has put a big damper on the holiday weekend for more than a dozen campers down the road who found one of the victim's bodies. You realize how precious life is when you see something like that. Tim Allen is still coming to grips with what he saw yesterday. Somebody over here yelled, we got him, we got him. He was among the campers who rallied together at Graham Creek campsite to help a stranger from the water. They'd already pulled him up on the bank right there and uh, were perfor was performing CPR. The group could not revive the 48-year-old. According to Shoshone County deputies, the raft the man was riding in flipped after hitting this log about three miles upstream from the campsite. He was rafting with his son, who was able to swim to shore, and a family friend who's still missing today. The three had life jackets in the boat, but they were not wearing them. That's the first rule of the river is you always have to wear a life jacket. And there's undercurrents, there's log jams. Ed Warren is familiar with the river. I've gone rafting on this river every summer for as long as I can remember. Yesterday, for the first time, he saw its dangerous consequences. I've never actually seen somebody die on it. I've heard of it, but you know, to actually see it, it just puts a new meaning on it. It's just sad that somebody thought that they could beat that. I mean, if you look at it, it is just, it's, un it's unbelievable. All the campers, even the dogs at Graham Creek, stayed clear of the water today. We set up the volleyball net away from it. We set up a Johnny jumper out away from it so they have somewhere to play besides right close to the riverbank. After seeing a father lose his life to the river, Alan says he appreciates the time with his family this Memorial Day weekend even more. We're trying to get through it, play with the kids more. <laughs> the Shoshone County Sheriff's Office says the river is flowing too high and too fast to keep searching today. They say in reality it could be a couple of weeks before it's safe to continue searching. Along the Coeur d'Alene River, Sally Showman, KXLY4, HD News. Well, in light of the accident and the extremely dangerous river conditions, the Shoshone County Sheriff's Office is issuing a warning to anyone thinking about going out on the Coeur d'Alene River. We can't really prevent people from uh, going into the water itself. The current's moving really fast, and people just need to stay out of the water. Right now, the river's in the midst of the peak runoff season, filling up with snow melting from nearby mountains. Today, it's flowing at almost 5,000 cubic feet per second, and the water temperature's hovering around 40 degrees. The